Hi there, everybody. This is Arkma, and welcome back to more Melty Blood type Lumina. Last time, we went through Alko's mission and story. And this time, we're going to be going through Mario's. Um, I've actually done these before. Um, I've done it twice, actually. Uh, so I'll hopefully do this in a relatively okay manner. First up is our quarter circle forwards. We've got A, which sends this nun out. B sends him out differently and is a wreck -a series so we can hit B again and again to do more. And then C does a nice little super version where the nun will attack and we can actually follow up. Next up is our quarter circle back. This is punch nun. Uh, if you use A, another nun comes out and does a mighty punch. Uh, B... A nun comes out and chucks a projectile, and C is the nun comes out with a spear. You can't quite follow up with it, uh, I think depending on like positioning, but right now, I can't do anything with that. Next up is DP. DP is an anti-air move, A covers a higher angle, B covers a further angle, and C covers a like in-between, but is also a follow-up as well. Next up, double down. A nun comes out and sets up for a block and then punches. Um, B does something similar, but instead of punching upwards, it's a downward strike. And then C is a full-on counter. Uh, I believe uh, if you do down in BC, it's similar. It'll do uh, another counter. We'll be seeing some combos utilize that later. All right, next up, aerial quarter circle back. It's essentially... Um, the same thing as the other button on the ground pretty simple next up arc drive boom and lastly our last arc calling everybody in all right since i didn't really give much of an explanation about mario at the start mario is a puppet character he uh uses other people essentially in his move set and uh, uses that to his advantage to do some very wacky stuff. Um, usually you have like one or two of these characters in, I think, just about every fighting game in some way. Mario, just very, very interesting character in that regard. He's definitely uh, come a little down um, in the last few months in terms of usage, but you'll still see a good few Mario players just out there doing their thing. I'm going to get through these rapid combos real quick. All right, first intermediate combo. There we go. Next up is shield. Uh, if there's one thing I personally struggle a little bit with Mario is um, some of his moves are like two-parters, like uh, this neutral C. Sometimes just waiting for that, I I very much rush through a lot of my combos. So, <laughs> trying to follow those within a combo string could be kind of awkward for me. Alright, that finishes it with Arc Drive. That did a good amount of damage. Alright, that's a poke. We got another poke. Yeah, so that's our first combo using down BC uh, counter. Um, as we saw there... Uh, it essentially launched the opponent towards Mario and allows him to do some funny things. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the first one. I want to wait for that um, that second hit of neutral C to actually get the combo off. I remember that one taking me a while uh, the last time I did this. Uh, one of the times I did do this was a... Uh, a recording session of this mission on my laptop that I didn't like very much, so I didn't do it. Oh, okay, so I need to do... So this B is also a, a two-hit, so we gotta do... And then the other B is a two-hit. And I gotta just get the timing right for that. Oh, I had it. No. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, so they, at the end of that Wreck-It series, you could also see that in the corner there, it'll send you back, uh, send the uh, opponent back to you, so you can do cool follow-up stuff. Oh. I think I messed up. Yeah. It was just a little too slow. Uh... There we go. Combo right into that last arc or arc drive. Beep. All right, next up, our poke. Oh wait. Okay, so you may have seen there. It says backward on the on the timeline there. I don't think we've actually seen that before. So what essentially it meant was when you do the the C super. They want you to walk back slightly to make space for the move. Otherwise, it's going to turn you around. Yes, that's essentially what they want you to do. Because otherwise... And that's not to say you couldn't combo off of it, but... Um, yeah, they want for this specific combo, they just want you to take a step back. Alright, so this is a poke with punch nun. Oh, I fucked it up. Nice. A lot of these are not taking me nearly as much time. Okay, this one, though, will be a little trickier. And he says after, like, three tries. All right, and we got our regular aerial dash combo. Oh, I missed the DP. Oh no, it, I forgot. Okay, this one gave me a lot of trouble in my original recording session because you do aerial B, standing B, down C, then three C, and me getting it around my head fucks me up. Or I could just do it like third try. Oh, and that's everything. Yeah, so Mario is a very interesting character. Um, very, very tricky. And I think that's really cool. Um, if you are a little concerned about giving puppet characters a try, I do think he's one of the cooler ones. Um, that's kind of about it for me, I guess. I don't really have much more to say. I'll see you all next time, then. Uh, for those of you following the mission channel, um, we will be doing... The funny cat. But if you're also looking at the story, I'll see you next time for Mario's story. So, I'll see you then.